we started rehearsing and uh, we used to, I remember, I'd never rehearsed like that on a musical before because we used to go down to Los Angeles and, and Bob Wise would be sitting in the back of a, it was like a pickup truck and he'd have this viewfinder and that he was looking through all the time and we would walk up and down the streets just walking and snapping you know because uh, I guess they wanted to get a, uh, they wanted to, to get an idea of how they were going to film uh, dancing on the streets it's a very hard to to film uh, no one had been that successful with it except Gene Kelly I think was the only one when he made New York New York but it's very difficult to for dancing to look good on the street I don't know for some reason the buildings and everything uh, is overpowering and the steps just don't look as powerful as they look on stage so you have to pick certain angles and uh, they, it has to be very carefully uh, laid out so we used to go up and down the streets of Los Angeles early in the morning at five o'clock in the morning before anybody uh, would arrive for work um, we used to go up and down uh, dancing and and uh, working on the on the streets uh, we went to New York, and um, uh, and it seemed that since this was Jerry Jerome Robbins' uh, project, that he was pretty much in charge, and he just didn't seem to be happy with. He was never quite satisfied. He always he was a perfectionist, and he always thought that something could be better. Uh, I remember one incident. In, one incident in, in New York where we would dance. We danced for maybe two blocks down a street. Um, it was a, or at least it was a long block, and with a camera in front of us, and we we did this whole long number all the way up to the end of the block, and they said cut, uh, and since they were co-directing Jerome Robbins and Robert Wise, uh, they both had to approve, you know. So we finished, and we finally we we got it right, we did it, and and Robert Wise said that was great for me, you know, and Jerry said oh that was fine for me too, but I would like to do one more, you know, and everybody was going oh because it's in the summer and you're dancing on cement. You used to go home at night with shin splints and it was terrible. Uh, it was an extremely difficult film to make. It was about 115 degrees out. And Jerry said, well, I'd like one more, one more to do it once again, but this time I would like all of you to do it on the other foot. Now that meant instead of stepping on the right foot and looking to the left, you step on the left foot, look to the right. Instead of turning one way, you turn another way. So here's all these confused dancers you know trying to figure this out now what difference it made I have no idea to this day what it ever what it meant to uh, Jerry Robbins because it was the same steps it was just on the other foot and all it did was confuse all the dancers and and hold us up for another uh, day um, so I knew that these things were they had to be uh, uh, troublesome especially for Bob Wise and the producers who wanted to get through the film. And we came back, we finished shooting there, we were way over schedule, and we came back to Los Angeles, and the film closed down for a while. And I think that I was the first one. I not only think I know that I was the first one of the cast, because I had the same agent as Bob Wise, um, he told me that uh, that Jerry was going to no longer Jerome Robbins was going to no longer be on the film, uh, that he had had it in his contract that uh, uh, that if it didn't work out after a month or two months or three months, whatever it was, uh, I forget now. It was quite a long time that that they had the option to let him go if they figured the co-directing wasn't working out, so they let him go, and um, and that's when uh, Bob Wise uh, took over.